Hello, welcome back to Speak Containment Breach. I think it's time for us to start moving towards the. Um, oh, we can do these both at the same time. So all the yellers nearby. We're gonna try to find our way to the entrance zone. Ugh. Well, might as well look at his face now. You look brilliant. People told you that before? You're amazing. You're beautiful. Please don't kill me. <laughs> he will, though. <sighs> Anywho. Let's listen to this beeping, see if it loops. One, two, three, four. Hmm. We'll do that on a later date, once I finally get to where I need to be. There's the button. I don't know if that closed the door or not. This will. Uh, one seven three is back. Entrance zone. Hey bear. How's your? How are you been doing? What's wrong with your face, though? Well, goodbye. All right. Let's get in. Oh, that's another navigator. We got one of those. Ooh, papers. Um, we'll drop the ring. Uh, SCP-093 uh, directly now has now our life has size proof. Blah blah blah. You gotta be kidding with this. When last, when asked. What? When I asked you for a level 2 version of this, you couldn't have just said no. What the hell? O93, who is that? Is that old Yeller? Hmm. I don't know. There's a key card we don't need. CP eight and five. That's that dude. Alright, so at this point we can get shot. Wonderful. Wait, isn't this the room we just been in? No, the papers are still here. Oh, good grief. 895. Paper is not strong enough to hold any more items. Is there anything we can chuck off? Uh, this probably can go. I will already have a paper of your, of you. Hmm. What's the navigator telling us? Not too much. Hmm. Oh, hey, it's Bob. Been a while. See, I don't under really understand how you work. I guess. Blinking makes him only move a short while, but turning your back on him kind of is like, yep, you're dead now. <laughs> okay. So 
So just spawn in, otherwise you probably would have shown up on the... Yeah, just spawn in. Let's quickly see if there's anything we need to do here. I suppose there would be. Hmm. Kind of annoyed. I want to explore these rooms a little bit more. Hey, ducky! bit more finer, but the game just goes like, yeah, nah. We're just gonna put that SCP in your way so you can't really do what you want to do there. Which sucks. Let's just go in and explore as far as you can, see if you can find a button before SCP strangles us. Oh, there's another ducky there. Ducky. Looks like 713 isn't here anymore. And if he is, he's hiding himself pretty darn well. An announcement to all personnel. The lift to gate B has been locked down to ensure the safety of the upper areas of the facility. Please Shit. remember to stay inside the evacuation shelters until the facility has been secured. Well, we got through that pretty easily. Dr. Gears. Shh. Einstein, he's alive. He's working in this place now. Ooh, nope. a blur. Never mind. Okay, hmm. we're safe again. Well, that didn't last long. I wonder if I still need the ring, though. Ooh, med bay. Ah, oh, there's a dead guy in here. Cool. Quickly check. Okay, we're alone with the dude. And there is indeed a medkit there. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, hello, Bob. Who else could it be? What? Okay, well, you might be able to kill us, but I kind of want to see what this thing does first. Syringe. Can I stab you with the syringe? Takes up I feel a light adrenaline rush. Eh. Can't say I'm too interested to see what that does. Let's just quickly move this way. See if that thing is a thing. Yes, that thing is a thing or not. Alcohol hand gel. No, I don't think we're gonna need that. Alright. <coughs> so the med bay holds no secrets for us. Except some adrenaline things, which probably just boost adrenaline, but we have infinite stamina on our disposal. Last time I was here, I was in like a whole bunch of offices, but. I think this is an exit? Hmm. Maybe. Let's check that room, it seems like a dead end anyway. What? Sure. Cafeteria. that thing. Ah, oh, great. Music that I'm gonna have to blur out. Wonderful. Oh, 
Only personnel of security clearance level 2. Ah, oh, I got a 5, so are allowed to use SCP-294. Requesting anything other than a human consumable beverage is strictly forbidden. Wait, can we just get like a soda or something? Uh, should probably get... yeah. Soda... Cool. We just got a soda, dude. We didn't even pay for it. Cup of soda. Yeah. Cold and refreshing. Okay, now we gotta know what we can do with this stuff. Um, can we get... Can we type? Nope. How about a cup of... Mercury. Really? Cup of mercury. Can we drink that? <coughs> the drink is thick like <coughs> cream and burns your throat. Theoretically, we should die because mercury poisoning is not a good thing. Hmm. I'm gonna reload. I don't think drinking mercury is uh Okay, don't make noise, don't make noise, don't make noise. Thank you. How about a cup of <clears throat> I wonder how crazy you could get it's like a cup of life. Wait, it works. Cup of life. <laughs> you must not. The jewel holds my life force. What? Oop. We're spacing out. Oh, it doesn't even tell you what kills you. Dude, I have to keep messing with that thing. Don't make noise, don't make noise, don't make noise. Thank you. It's probably save while I'm down here. Don't have to do it all over again. Um, it's okay, can we do a cup of death? Maybe we'll live. Out of range. Cup of... Um, dead? Out of range. Ah, uh, ooh, magma. <laughs> Dispensing product. Uh, okay, drop the ring again. Cup of magma. Yeah, who would have guessed? Subject D9341 was found dead with the victim's organs and mouth cavity, suffering numerous four to be burns and a trace of molten igneous rock in the stomach. A polystyrene cup was also located next to the subject's body. Cause of death is most likely linked to redacted. Must be one hell of a cup, though, if it can hold that in. Um, can we get eye drops? I drops. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Liquid tastes awful, maybe it wasn't meant to be used or <gasps> no. They're eye drops, what do you think? Seems to be working though. Cup of God. Ooh, no, wait, wait, wait. Ambrosia. Oop, Miss Ambrosia. 
other range. Okay. How about God? Cup of God. What? Did we just summon a deity in the life or something? I want to know what it does, though. Drink the cup. Drink the cup. That was mildly disappointing. Um, okay, I'm probably wasting too much time on this, but come on. <sighs> Let's do Bear Grylls. Cup of piss. Okay. That's... We would like to advise all surviving personnel once again. Do not attempt to reach the exits. Either find a safe area or go into one of the many evacuation shelters inside the facility. Oh wait, that's my cup of... Ew, it's even yellow. Ew. I'm moving all this stuff a bit out of the way so I can pick the pill up again and move that to a place where I can take it with again. Now come on, 106, do me a solid and do not appear here. Whoops. So where are we going with? Oh yeah, the cup, cup, cup of piss. Is he really gonna drink that? Uh, put the pill down there. I wonder if urine works as well. Urine. Yeah. <coughs> it's a bit odd though. We suppose all these combinations at cup of urine. I'm not drinking that smart move. We would like to advise all surviving personnel once again, do not attempt to reach the exits. Either find a safe area or go into one of the many evacuation shelters inside the facility. Okay, one more. Let's make it a good one. Um... What else could you... Is there any idioms with a cup in it? A cup of tea, but that's probably something you can easily get. Coffee, I'm not a coffee drinker. Well, we'd add our soda. And... I wonder if Joe works. Like a cup of Joe. color is that? That doesn't really look like coffee, but do it. <laughs> Ew. So I guess we had a cup of Joe the employee in accounting. Well, that was fun. Um, so where's the squiggly guy? Are there guys in here? Oh, you're still there. So you can get past mm -hmm. you without having your blare off music. Wish we could get a list of things you could get. Electrical center. Bob's here, somewhere. Along with 096 Old Yeller? This looks more like a place where... Um, primary lighting on, secondary lighting on, remote door control... Ooh. What is it? You think we have to turn... Uh, with this new modular site designing and all improvements will be made. <coughs> no reason to worry. 
Yeah, I haven't got made with dozens of SCPs crammed next to each other. It's pretty much the safest thing I can imagine, not to mention all these barely functional prototype state security systems they've installed. I've told those boys a thousand times we're not geared to handle this many, but does anybody listen to Hooper? No, you bet your ass they don't. Just on and on. The greatest fine, blah, blah, blah. This isn't the primary containment site. Hell, it ain't even secondary. We're supposed to do sample tests and paper pushing. We don't have the security set up to handle this load, let alone the power. I've had to run the boys non-stop to keep with all the shorts and the new connection problems, and we're still behind. I'm gonna kill Franklin. Come down to the electrical center and there's a goddamn agent inside fiddling with the switches. I start in on him and Mr. High and Mighty says Security Chief Franklin said to come down and run a bypass so they can run overload test on one of the newly active cells. Christ wept, the moron was getting ready to run a bypass, alright, but on the master door control, I threw him the hell out, and I'm still steaming too bad to try and talk to Franklin. Alright. But that's not good. And then there was light. So this thing is probably something we can turn off, right? There we go. Oh, there's something in there. I can't. Oh, I can't pick that up. Ugh, so old man's here now. You start to understand why I wanted that gone now, don't you? He's a nuisance. Uh, run, run, run around, run in around. Around. Make some music for him. Spaghetti ball. Ah! Thanks, but. Oh, there's a Tesla gate here. Brilliant. I can't even hear the Tesla gate go off. Alright, old man. It's you, me, and this kick ass Tesla gate. Please don't come through this wall or something. Oh, he's bored. Alright, easy peasy. Still can't hear the Tesla gates. Still can't hear anything. Oh, great, sound bugged out. Oh, there it goes again. Guess we just got a little bit of the deaths. Thanks to the noise that a guy makes. So why the hell would you keep him in your cafeteria? Here you are just casually having lunch and BAM! Nothing. Beep. Okay, so that's off. What do we have here? Um, chuck the ring down for a sec. Note from Daniel. We replaced the worn-out cables of the elevator section B this morning. Someone should make a nice return for everyone that's safe to use again. Great. I don't care though. So I guess we can now move to that computer again, as he probably won't be able to close the doors on me. Stomach is aching. Ah, oh, don't tell me there's once again been... That I drank something that's gonna end up killing me. Maybe the blood was such a good idea after all. Six is still around, but can't really tell where he's at. The thing I thought would have been stomach is aching. Yeah, you told me that already. No, wait, did, did I just hear somebody on the radio? Is that thing going Derek or something? Who the hell is Derek? Well, at least the Tesla gates are still working. Ah, this looks cool. Give me just. Yep, alright, 
just gonna. Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Um. Doctor L, did we get our? Uh, this is. Nope. Conference room. Oh, well, there's something to read over there. Alright. <clears throat> well, we appreciate the concern and obvious unease of you and your staff. There is a procedure in place for these events. The site must first be locked down to prevent physical escape and allow time to assemble the correct MTF teams for evaluation and recovery. Any subjects currently sealed on the site are to remain there for the duration of the breach event. Nothing will be allowed to exit the site until cleared by an MTF squad after full evaluation. Any subjects exiting the facility will be considered lethally contaminated and treated as such. We currently have a full evaluation and review MTF team geared and to enter in approximately one hour. In addition, all lots of communication needs to be severed during a lockdown to prevent mimetic contamination. The fact that you neglected to do so to send the aforementioned messages on settling. We will now manually sever all outside communications links. A disciplinary hearing will be held for remaining command members, post-evaluation and recovery. Must be one hell of a place to work in, huh? Everything's going fine and suddenly you're killing yourselves over a piece of sheet music whilst nobody's here to help you. Cool beans. All right. Oh, we're back here. Well, I guess this is as good as a place as any to say. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still in the series. Feel free to show support by commenting, liking, and or something if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.